Hi guys, welcome to Windows 10. Joking, of course. This is created with the one from January, so not that long ago. And yes, we are not on Windows. And I suppose there's still an update to be done, but a smaller one. For Arch, this is small. <laughs> anyway, topic of the video is not relying on Eric, right? You need to be independent and find your knowledge whenever you need to have. One of the things that I use because I don't ask questions anywhere, what I do is sudo pacman minus s mlocate. Make sure that's installed, All right? We have to wait. Second screen, it's busy, 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 busy. There can be only one Pac-Man at work. That's why DB lock. To ensure that not two of them are actually managing the same files or the same installation, which would, well, right? <laughs> Mess things up, Simple, <laughs> simply put. So let's pause the video and wait for it to finish here. All right, let's do that again. So mlocate is normally installed, but nevertheless, right, on anything else Arch Linux based. I am teaching for Arch Linux and some of the things uh, just for Linux. And that provides you this sudo update database. Strange thing. It's going over all the files and folders in your system, it creates a database, and then you say, locate me grub. That's gonna be our topic, grub. Anything, where, everywhere and anything where the name grub comes into the picture, that's it, right? That's everything. And some of them are super unimportant, like, well, unimportant. Depends what you're looking for, right? So this is more information, so the manual, the man, from uh, Grub and Grub Customizer, etc. These are all languages, Hong Kong, Korean, whatever, German, some icons, you see it in the user share icons. So depending on what you're looking for, you check out what is available on my machine. Where is the word Grub ever mentioned? And you'll find a long list, as you see, a long list. And, um, here we are with some where something interesting is happening. Boot or grub. Okay, boot grub. And it's pretty much alphabetic, I think. Yes. So we start with the B, boot grub and all the themes. And then E to C, default grub. Mm, interesting one. And grub D, also interesting one. And that gives you already a lot of information. And then we have our own hooks about uh, a grub that we said maybe huh, will give a user something to be safe to be sure grub is working next time you boot up that's a hook and then of course if you've done all the man grubs and all that and read everything that there is to read or do a grub i don't know what right grub install grub make config and you can have a look at the code sometimes it's a help sometimes it's a man grub and then something choose take your pick and if there is an information you read it lastly you go to the arch wiki arch wiki and then grub a word i've typed thousands of time arch wiki and then whatever comes to mind whatever you are in trouble with or etc right you just keep reading and you find that grub is the grand unified bootloader is a bootloader and then as a reference and there are more bootloaders as you see there's quite a few and remember the old days Lilo the name great right old so the current grub is also referred to as grub2 fine and then you start reading etc etc your file system so those are the new systems so if you have an old system you check those out installation and you read mounting grub here's information and you check out what we have you check out what says here and um, what shall we go for here 
This is something we're gonna need. So install the grub package, it will reduce, then do grub install target, etc. Okay. Now, since we tend to forget things, we make aliases. Alias, and there's quite a few, right? So then you say, wow, too much to read. Then you say alias, you pipe it. This is a pipe to grab, uh, yeah, grab, grab, <laughs> grab, grab. And then you see all the aliases that we have for grub, fix grub, and there's another fix grub and a grub update and an install grub. A look at the install grub. Grub install target. What does it say here? Pseudo grub install target x86 64 EFI. EFI directory, etc. Right? So this is that's the legacy kind of thing. And this is the EFI kind of thing. Grub install. And um, you keep on reading. There is a default grub configuration file. So how to set grub? Well, with this file, grub. And the question that I'm getting at is a question from Discord. No, Telegram. Anyway, it doesn't matter where it's coming from. This is also one that has update grub, right? Take a look, update grub here. This is the one. So we don't need to remember this one because we have an alias for it, update grub. So there are two things to remember. Install grub EFI is something I, well, it's an alias for me to remember all that. And update grub is an in, an, a way to remember that. If I want to go edit things, that's gonna be this. Or the configuration, that's gonna be that, right? So we've made some interesting things here as well as the fix grub, if something is broken, Arconix fix grub, Arconix fix grub. So it's basically not an, well, it's an alias, yes, but it points, as you see, to a script. And that script will handle things. So that's um, something to know. Now, the only thing I can show you in this video, as I'm booting up and everything is fine, there is something called etc grub D. And that means that whatever you put in that folder is gonna count from 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. And the 40 is the custom thing. So that's for you as a user to do some things in there. Can be used as a template, etc., etc. And one of the things I'd like to get rid of was an extra RAM memory, I think it was, right? Let's first get a better wallpaper. Alt T for to trash, and we got a better wallpaper. So we are actually on the SSD of Sardi icons. So here on this particular machine, I built the Sardi and the Surfing icons. So I can't lose my data, which is of course important. One of the things, if you start working with critical things, critical parts of your system, then you think maybe I'll be unable to reboot first backup, right? Make sure everything that you need, if, if there is a risk, even a small one, a remote one, make up, write yourself a script that everything is somewhere else, a copy. Okay, to the job at hand. We have a computer, Samsung, okay. As is, oh yeah, here, SSD. Then we go and have a look at the, oh, how did I organize this? Like that. So bin boot dev etc. So a lot of grub things are in here, but this is the one that interests me. The grub customizer is installed, it seems. And remember the default. So the default of grub. But this is a setting. These are settings like these and plain text is not nice. So you take Perl or something, much nicer. So if you see something you wanna change, that's here. But in this case, we wanna change how it boots up. We have a line that we wanna get rid of. Sometimes you have doubles, it happens. as updates and, and, and uh, yeah, by default there is some programming in an update that says make me a new 40 or make me a new 40 plus. Actually a plus 
and a minus behind it. And then they said, huh? where's it coming from? Didn't do anything, updates, right? So this is interesting, which means we need to go to the Sublime editor. And instead of opening files, I'm gonna open a the folder. So grab the drag drop. And now we have a look. So the machine is a machine. I mean, it thinks like machines and it goes from zero down to, and here are two doubles, right? Like I said, it's actual plus and then on minus EFI. It's just something that has been added over time and here as well. So this one doesn't show actually, but this one I see. I see that a second mem test. I say whatever, right? It's not important, right? It's really not important. But what if I don't want to have it? So fixing things is basically in this case removing things. You can have a look at all this. I'm I have partial clue of what this is all about, right? But not full understanding, nor is it needed. So the header, beginning, Linux, Linux Zen, and we have BLI. We're going to insert a module, fine. OS Prober, going to look around, UFI firmware, and here's a custom thing. And this is actually something that we did. Thank you, Garuda theme. So I found it there and I said, that's actually nice. I want the, the last one to be shut down and before that to be restarted and not the other way around. And Arch Linux does it the other way around. That was irritating me. The last one should be shut down for me. So this one is good. And here somebody, right, not me, somebody added a 41 custom behind it. If the file config directory custom config, then source the other one as well. And if, etc., etc. right? So it seems to be looking around and say, is there something else extra? Then you're going to add it to the list. Do I need it? Probably not. The mem test is basically testing is your memory. The, how do you say it in English? the memory uh, bars, I think. Yeah, memory bar, the stick, no. If they are corrupt or not, that's the way to test it. But do I need it? No. If there is a problem, hardware problem, I'll grab my black USB, which contains the latest Arch Linux, and I'll use that one, right? I boot up, RAM is free, the, the bars are free, and I test it like that not in here or something with, with this tool. So in my eyes, I want to get rid of it. Both of them. So I don't need them. So I'll get nice four lines, which is Arclux, which is fallback, which is uh, shutdown is the last one. Or was the first before that one? Restart. Four lines. And that's it. That's clean. So I'm going to remove this one. Okay, that's it. So think about what's in here. Have a look. If you're unsure what you're doing, you can do exactly the same as I do, is copy to somewhere else. Well, actually move, right? Sudo move the 60 mem test. That one is good. And you can move it to just etc. Just one level up. We're now inside grub D. We say, move it to there, boom. You see it, move away. It's there and never gonna be used and it will be forgotten and you say, oh, okay, fine. But if it's not working, you can easily move it back. So now you have these packages, considering to remove the 41 as well. And I'm gonna do that. I like to live dangerously. 41 custom and you go to etc as well voilà. so this is what i have and then we have the two aliases one is install and then tap tap grub efi i am efi of course not on the old machines i am efi okay and then no error reported good and then update grub And I'll end the video here, I'll reboot and, and voila. We'll have a clean four lines, I think we're gonna have, and that's great, right? That's one way of doing things. Maybe you have other issues, other things, 
but I've pointed you where you should try and find it. I've found you, given you tools like the locate, locate me, anything with, I don't know, uh, alacrity, alacrity.conf. Find me somewhere. Is there a file like that? No, there is not, but we had a toml change, I think. Right, well, there we go. So you'll figure it out if you can find the files. So mlocate and then log update, uh, sudo update database, locate and rg and go to uh, grab it and, and find it. And then Google, of course. I haven't told you about AI. We just went and, and looked at this thing, but you can ask your questions at AI, right? So Bing is, the, is these days free. Not Bingle, but Bing. I know, I know, I know, I hear you. But uh, there it is, right? It's free, except um, I have a problem with my grub in Arch Linux. Can you assist? Voila, assist so you understand. <laughs> Yeah, grub, you find boot manager, we've got that. Grub install, scrub install, yep, check. So that's the update grub, the last one. And of course, yeah, backup, backup, backup. Because any of these things that it suggests might go terribly wrong, right? So always be cautious. All right, cheers.